All right, everybody, welcome back to part 20 of my 50-part series on Anniversary Eisen. Today, we're going to talk about the fillers that are going to be in his banner. And shout out to the homie Soldex. He data mined this information, but he did say that he uh, that there is a chance that it could change, although like 99% of the time, this is what it is. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that this is going to be accurate information. Uh, Soldex is like never wrong. So uh, if we take a look at the filler, guys. Uh, not too bad, actually. I still think people are going to be disappointed no matter who it is, but, uh, if we go, uh, if we go, uh, looking at it from, uh, the first character, the Aizen, obviously, that's the one everybody wants, but there's also Anniversary Byakuya and Anniversary Ichigo from last year, and both of those are still top-tier units. Um, if you're a new player to this game, you definitely want to try to get one of those units. They're still... Like, two of the best five characters in the game, in my opinion. Uh, so, even if you already have them, dupes of, dupes of those characters will be good, because you can power up your uh, your original Byakuya with uh, Transcendence and stuff. So, pretty good filler right there. And then next, we have the Potion Drop Kisuke and the Potion Drop Rukia, which, I mean, they're Potion Drop characters, so they're automatically uh, desirable if you don't have them. And plus, that Kisuke is pretty good overall. Um... Not a bad farming character. Uh, Yoruichi and Soifan. Uh, you know, I don't know too much about that character because, uh, you know, it wasn't that hype when they came out. But I'm pretty sure they're decent guys. I'm pretty sure a lot of people skipped that banner as well. So um, I don't think a lot of people have that character. So if you get her and she's new, it's at least Spirit Orbs. Uh, the White Ichigo from Spirit Society, he's actually very good for Guild Quest as a support unit. And then you have Uriyu and Chad. Uh, from uh, our, like a recent banner. Uh, not too sure about those guys either. You know what? Actually, maybe we should take a look at those guys because they might be better than I think. Uryu, he was very uh, under the radar. That whole banner was under the radar with Uryu and Chad because, um, you know, people are all about, oh, man, mid-month filler banner. We'll just skip, you know, because they're going to be in the premium pool. But uh, let's see. Berserker 40, Bruiser 40, Devastation 60, Frenzy, Guard Break, Guard break and hit hidden enemies on this Uryu, guys. Uh, that's not a bad combination. He's probably a pretty efficient character. And he's also a 14 recharge link for blue. So that's actually pretty good to have. Not a bad filler unit, guys. And the Chad. Let's go look up Chad real quick because I don't know about him neither. I mean, he's Chad, so automatically he's, he's like meta, right? Uh, Chad, the mind Chad. Uh, recharge 12%, RN car killer, uh, guard break and hit hidden enemies as well. And he also has poise, guys, which is pretty good. And he has a chance to instant kill on his special. So he seems to be a pretty solid character. None of these characters have havoc, which is kind of the only drawback of them, of, uh, of Uryu and Chad. So their range isn't like, you know, the ridiculous range that havoc characters have. But, uh, the other abilities kind of make up for it a little bit. Guard break and hit hidden enemies kind of balances that out. Um, not too shabby. And if we go back to the filler, let's see, who else is there that we need to talk about? Uh, the Orient Society Orihime, uh, kind of like, a, you know, not that, not that great a character, but not bad at all. Uh, she's actually pretty useful in Guild Quest as well, because she does have a boost, and she's a NAD character. So normal attack damage, ranged unit with a boost, that's pretty good. Uh, the Riruka, I do have that Christmas Riruka, and I think she's okay. She's pretty good for farming IT, just because she procs her uh, freeze a lot. Uh, the damage output isn't the best, and she doesn't have Havoc either, but the fact that she freezes, like, all the time kind of makes her useful in grinding Inheritance Trials. And uh, Zangetsu, uh, we're going to have to go back to uh, bbssimulator.com for Zangetsu, because I don't remember nothing about that character. He was a pretty easy skip for me, um, but he is more than welcome in filler. You know, let, let, let's be real, guys. Uh, you know, anybody but the new Aizen is kind of going to be an L for most people, even if they are new characters, but, you know, at least you'll get spirit orbs if you get a new character, so, uh, just think of it that way. Uh, Zangetsu, Iron Card Killer as well, Recharge 12%, uh, he does boost Soul Reaper Strong Attack Damage plus 20% in a party, so this is actually a good unit to run with the new Aizen, because he's gonna give him 20% extra Strong Attack Damage. Like, as if the new Aizen needs a 20% strong attack damage boost. Uh, he's also got Bru Berserker, Bruiser, damage to weaken enemies. That's pretty good. Uh, Frenzy. He does, and Sprinter plus two. So, I mean, he's missing some of, like, the nice quality of life things, like hit underground enemies and guard break. But he does have 
some other good stuff to make up for it, especially damage to weakened enemies. Uh, Sprinter plus two is great. And the boost to purple Soul Reapers, uh, a.k.a. the uh, Anniversary Aizen booster. So uh, not a bad unit. I mean, he's filler, guys. What do you expect? But um, I guess that's everybody, right? Did we miss anybody? I think that's it, guys. So the filler units, for me personally, I don't think it's that bad. Um, Dupe, Sabiakyu, and Ichigo are good for most people. Um, I already have Byakuya 5 of 5, so I'm not, like, going to be too hype if I get him again. I mean, I'll, I'll figure out something to do with him. Maybe I'll have two 5 of 5 Byakuyas. I don't know. Uh, Kisuke and uh, Rukia I also have. But they're potion characters, and, you know, Transcendence, I mean, it's always an option. Uh, Yoruichi and Soifan, uh, pretty solid character from what I remember. I have the Ichigo. He's pretty solid. Also, good guild quest unit, good guild quest support unit. Uh, Uryu and Chad, we already talked about them. Or Hime, we talked about her. And Riruka and Zangetsu. So, um, uh, what am I looking at here? I am... I am pretty much... I have all of them except for Yoruichi, Chad, Uryu, and Zangetsu. So, what is that, guys? Out of 12 units, I have 8 of them. So... I mean, not the best odds for me, but uh, let's be real. Like I said earlier, the only one we all really want is the Aizen. So, um, you know, it's basically one out of 12. I mean, even if I get a new character, I'm not going to be that hype, but I'm not going to be that disappointed. So anyway, before I start rambling on, which I already did, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in a few days for when the banner drops. Hopefully, uh, this should be the last Aizen video before it actually comes out. So uh, I'll see you all in the next live stream or video. Good night, everybody.